Hey YouTube, I thought I would uh, document something here. Um, my latches and hatches on the boat. Uh, as you can see, this back hatch, uh, good shape, works good up and down, pops up and down. It's nice and if you shake it back and forth, it's nice and sturdy. Uh, that was not the case when I first got the boat. Uh, this is a used boat, but um, it, you know, these, these Rangers, this is a, an 05 Z21, um, but a lot of the Rangers do this. And I'm sure other boats do it too, but especially the Rangers. And it's now happened to my battery compartment um, here. What'll happen is, you know, you'll you'll be using them and they'll get a little bit of play in them. You know, I'll sort of simulate here. You'll get it to where you see you get a little bit of play like that right there. And then eventually it'll just pop loose. And what's happened when that happens is these these old rivets that are in here from years and years of use have, uh, have come loose. And I'm gonna show you how we fix that. And I'll walk you through the process here and then I'm gonna do it and film some of it. First thing you'll do is you'll take you know, a screwdriver and take this, uh, this hinge off. And then you'll take a, a drill and just lightly go into each one of these holes, which will pull that rivet out uh, pretty easy. You don't want to drill the hole out or anything. What you do want to drill out is this. As you can tell, the other end of that rivet is up in there. So I'm going to drill each one of them out and actually in, in, you know, get every bit of that out of there. Uh, it, it may make the hole a little bit larger, but that's okay. Because the key here is, and I'll, I'll video them and show you, we're not going to go back with these same kind of, uh, of rivets that are in here. Uh, I have bought uh, good, sturdy, stainless steel rivets to the point that I'm a big guy and I have a hard time getting them to pop with a one-handed, um, you know, uh, pop rivet gun. And so I had to get the, the one that it uses, you know, two hands and a, it's got more, more of, a, of a clamp to it that you can get them to pop loose with. But I'll show you that process here. Uh, the good thing about this process is, well, one, you get to clean up, uh, which I need to. But the, truthfully, the good thing about it is when you put these bigger rivets in here, um, this hinge doesn't quite go in as far, right? It, it's, it's, it's very, very minimal, right? But the good thing is it's nice and snug and tight. So when you do flip your latch, this will actually pop up quite a bit more than before uh, because it's got a little more pressure on it. You know, even your spring here still pops it up, but but there's a little more pressure on this and it pops up and sits up really nice and makes it easier to open, um, which is probably the way it was when it came from the factory. But, uh, but uh, anyway, all right, I'll get to work here and film some of the parts for you and show you what it looks like. Okay, the first step is we've taken the, the hinge off of the boat and then the next step is to get these old rivets out. What I've found, there's, I don't know if there's a better way to do it, but I take a drill bit that is just a little bit, you know, maybe one size or two larger than that hole. You can see that won't fit in there. Uh, the drill bit before it is actually <coughs> just larger and then I step up one size. Um, and what I found to do is just line that up. Um, you know, I use a table to hold it here and I angle my drill a little bit. Line that up, get the stuff going. drill into it as you can see when it starts spinning you've usually got it um, and then you can take a screwdriver and come in and work on it a little bit here and pop it out if not you have to use it again uh, with the with the uh, the bit let's see here there you go so say you can pop that right out and then you're done so I'm gonna do that to the rest of them here and, uh, and then I'll come back to you and show you the next step. Okay, the next step is to, I start with the same drill bit I had and you're gonna drill out each one of these, which is the other ends of the, uh, the same rivet. Now, having said that, uh, I've done this before on others. I'm gonna save time on the video. I'm gonna show you how this starts and hopefully the first one will come out easy. But if it doesn't, sometimes you have to go up in size and drill that out a little more. It doesn't matter. The rivets we're gonna put in are substantial, so I'll show you, but, but you know, for the most part, you should be able to get it here. Um, so I just lay it down flat and then come in with the drill. And you want to go sort of straight here because if you go at an angle, um, I'm sorry to see. If you go at an angle, you'll wind up drilling into this, which you don't want to do. Uh, so for the most part, now that one's, uh, that one's out. It's in there a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can work with it a little bit to get it to come out but I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of them and they should drill out and come out. Worst case scenario, they wind up up inside there and it's just a little piece of it anyway and sometimes that doesn't cause you trouble, but you can usually work your drill back and forth and get them to pull forward and pull out of there. All right, next step's coming. Okay guys, so key here, uh, the, they're all drilled out. I was gonna show you, this is the pop rivet gun I'm using and the reason I'm using that is I moved to stainless steel 
popper that's and you'll see that these are three sixteenths i've got quarter and a half inch length that doesn't matter in, in this application uh the three sixteenths is what you want uh, i went along and took this and i popped it into each one of the holes to make sure they're drilled out the way they should be and you'll be able to see that uh that these go in they're substantial they are steel um they're stainless steel they're going to last way longer uh than the the ones that were in the boat which you know lasted years and years and years but i have replaced everything in the front of my boat all my compartments with these and now i'm starting to do the rear compartments and the front ones are nice and sturdy and they don't wobble and they they're great and i think you'll be happy with those too uh i grabbed one of these guns because the single hand model um with these stainless steel ones was uh was considerably a, a workout and uh and so I just decided to pick up one of these since I was doing everything on the boat and it's been well worth it. So I suggest it. I'll go ahead and take care of these and get them put on. I'm sure you guys don't need to see that. I mean, you just slide it up on there and, you know, open it up and close it really good and it'll pop off. I'll show you what that looks like okay. in a moment. Just to show you, the rivets are all in. Uh, went in pretty good. Just did want to point one thing out. I, um, in, in going through these, uh, these 3 sixteenths by a half worked much better. The 3 sixteenths by a quarter did not seem to, uh, to want to go in as well as uh, as snug the 3 16 by a half uh worked a lot better so you might want to try that one depending on uh, as a start you know based on what i've done here that worked better and i think that's what i wound up using in the front but i'm gonna go put it back on the boat and give you guys a look hey at guys i uh, just wanted to come back a second so as i was going through this you know i put together these videos just to try to share you know as i'm doing stuff hoping that it'll help somebody um but you know i'm also i want to be honest about stuff i mean i'm no pro at this and uh i sort of fill things out as i go so i mess up too from time to time uh, I actually got a little spot in my carpet here because I wasn't paying attention uh, with one of the rivets when I was trying to drill it out and let it touch there and it ripped up part of the carpet. But uh, one thing I did do is when I was drilling out one of the rivet, uh, the, the places for the rivets, the little holes here, I actually bored it out a little more than I should. And uh, as a result, the rivet wouldn't work. But I was just going to show you guys, you can work around that. Even if you get old ones and the rivets don't go in, these all went in good. This one didn't. You know, you can just come over a little ways and drill a hole big enough and pop another rivet in. So, you know, it's looking like it's going to be fine here. I'm going to put this back on the boat and I'll show you guys what it looked like. But I did want to show you the mistake so you can know that there is a way to work around that stuff if you get it. Uh, all right, I'm going to put this on the boat and be done here because uh, I'm under the shade right now. But the boat's in the heat and, uh, and it's a very hot day here in North Carolina. All right, YouTube, final part of this video. Uh, it's reinstalled. And just to show you what I was talking about. Sorry, let me get my finger out of the way. Just to show what I was talking about. Um, once you get it in here, I mean, it really frees it up with those uh, nice, you know, nice, good, tight connection back here. When you go to pop it up, I mean, you're, it pops up really nice now. So that's how you do it. If you got any questions, leave them below.